What's going on you guys? My name is Morgan and welcome back to another video. So this video is actually a story time video. So I touched on this a little bit in I think a video over a year ago. But since this channel is kind of starting to get a little bit more momentum to it, um, this is an important story and I want to talk about it again. And um, if I didn't give more details, get more details this time. So, um, Ruby. That's the story time today is Ruby. Um, Ruby is the, technically, for me, technical, is the fourth dachshund I've ever had. Before her was Rowdy, Baby Doll, Dot, and then Ruby. So, um, I was looking for a dachshund companion for Dot, which unfortunately, y'all will never get to meet Dot. You can check out my past videos to see more of Dot. But Dot passed away in November of 2021, that's right. Um, but I was looking for a companion for Dot because she was getting ill and she just needed a friend. So we were driving by um, this adoption event on the way to my mother-in-law's and I don't know how, across the highway, well it wasn't really a highway but it was a highway, I told my husband, look there's a dachshund, pull over, go back, we have to look at this dog. So he goes back, turns around, goes back to this adoption event. And they have all these puppies, all these different dogs, and they had two kennels. A big kennel, no, it was a, no, small kennel and another small kennel. And in the bottom kennel was a brown dog who had a blue collar and was just absolutely terrified. So I look at her for a second and she, she's terrified. She doesn't even come out. And we keep going and I spot some puppies that they're like little dogs and it's puppies. And the foster mom tells me, well, these are um, Ruby's puppies. I said, okay. I didn't really, I wanted a puppy, but I didn't really care for it so much at the time. And I didn't like the uh, coat they had. So I went back to Ruby and I had already made up my mind really. I didn't want a puppy because Dot was so old and I needed a less energetic dog. So I tell her, open up the kennel. I want to see Ruby. So she opens up the kennel. So she opens up the kennel for me and there's Ruby. Ruby didn't want to come out. She wanted to follow the foster around, but I immediately decided I want to adopt her because she was so shy and so nervous. And the foster told us she was terrified of men. I kind of just had a feeling that no one would want to adopt her. And then they told us that she was heartworm positive. Um, if you don't know what heartworms is, it's it can be deadly if you do not get treatment for your dogs. They have slow kill and a uh, fast kill. Um, she was on a medication for it already, but heartworms is a long, lengthy battle, and it can get worse if you're not careful. But I told my husband, okay, I want her. So we ended up taking her, and we adopted one of the puppies for my mother-in-law, but I had already made up my mind on Ruby because something told me it would, would be so hard for her to get home, and I had decided, you know, she'd be perfect for Dot. And of course, Dot doesn't like her, but Ruby forces herself onto Dot and into Dot's bed and just lays with her no matter how pissed off Dot got. And um, I'll attach some of the pictures of Ruby. I had two pictures of Ruby that was sent to me by her foster mom. I'll attach them in this video. But anyways, so um, Ruby and Dot don't become best friends. Ruby loves Dot already. Dot's not so crazy about Ruby. At the time, Dot was nine years old. Yeah, she was nine, about to be ten. So, um, I, um, we take her home, but the vet has, or the rescue has decided she needs a spay. I didn't even get to choose the vet, but we had had problems with the vet in Willis for a little while now. Um, Dot was allergic, was allergic to the lepto vaccine and ended up having a reaction, which is normal for dachshunds. Dachshunds can be allergic to it, and usually there's a high probability that they are allergic to it. Um, so I had problems with them in the past, uh, making fun of me, making fun of how upset I was when Doc went into a allergic anaphylactic shock. So at the time we were going to the one in car and I'm like, okay, well maybe it won't be so bad. But we really didn't have a choice. The rescue said this is the one you have to go to. So we take Ruby to that rescue and everything seems fine. We pick her up routinely and first day everything's fine. Well, we just opened the shop and Ruby starts bleeding out. So, I mean, she's, 
oh my gosh, I can't even think about it, but it, it's bad. It was really, really bad. So we ended up taking her to a vet in Sci Fair. It was $1,100 to fix Ruby. Um, they had washed her spay. And um, we ended up going and confronting the vet and telling them what happened. It was on a Sunday. It's not like they would have even seen Ruby. But they tell us, we cannot talk to you. This is not your dog. And I'm like, I brought her and dropped her off. How is she not my dog? I have the paperwork from the rescue. I mean, I have emails and text messages from the rescue. I have the application for the rescue where I signed. And so did the foster mom. So how is Ruby not my dog? How can you not talk to me? They just... I can't talk to you. This is the rescue stop. I can't talk to you. Get out of here. Leave. This front desk lady was so rude. So we leave. And a couple days later, we go pick up Ruby. And Dot is ecstatic. This is where they become best friends. Dot is absolutely head over heels. So happy to see Ruby. So um, I ended up leaving a review on the rescue's website. And they, not on the rescue, on the, um, um, on the vet's website, no, on the Google vet's Google page. So I left a, re so I left a review on the vet's Google page, and they said, "Oh, it's just a reaction. Why didn't you bring her back in? It's not our fault. Um, you should have just brought her back in." <laughs> and I'm like, "You wouldn't even talk to us." And then they say, "This never happened. None of this ever happened." And I'm like, "What the heck? There are reviews on here about you getting puppies too much, flea and tick medication. Were you?" injured or were you where the dog passed away because of that so you're going to tell me that you this never happened so that's basically ruby's story after that things looked up for ruby and up until dot passed everything was good for ruby and things were good for ruby right now she's still a little skittish and a little nervous but that's ruby's story um ruby is five years old right now She's very happy. She has eight brothers and sisters, or eight kids that she takes care of, eight puppies she takes care of. She is the oldest out of all of them. Hi, <laughs> Freya. She's really taken up with Fuzzy, but she took up with Rosemary, too. But I know she misses Dot, but that is Ruby's story, and I thought it was very important to tell because she is one of the first five hounds. Ruby, Rosemary, Zero, Fuzzy, and Hershey are the first five hounds. This is what it was named after them and myself yes I see you Freya so I just want to tell Ruby's story because Ruby is a very important reason that all of us started her and Dot and me just wanting to start YouTube for the first time but I'm glad I was able to share Ruby's video Ruby's story with y'all so hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that hit that subscribe button you can also check out all my links, social medias, uh, what have you in my uh, bio, so, or in the description. So, as Freya's gonna chew on my finger, we'd like to say a thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as usual, guys, as usual, you guys, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. See you guys later. Freya, that hurts. Freya, are you gonna keep biting my finger? Are we done yet? No? Okay, Freya. Say bye, Freya. Oh, nope. She doesn't want to say bye.